So there was some great news coming out of SoFi in their latest quarter and more specifically in the lesser known parts of its business growth was phenomenal. So in this video I'm going to dig deeper into that and try and see why this is such great news for SoFi stock investors. So let's get right into it. Of course starting with the fact that SoFi targets higher credit score borrowers, right? The median FICO score of 7 147 for its direct deposit portfolio gives it an ample opportunity for cross buying so they can feel comfortable selling these customers various services because they are higher credit score borrowers they don't need to be reluctant to offer them any services because you know maybe they won't qualify for a credit card or maybe they won't qualify for a certain loan offer that's not the case they will qualify because they are higher they will most likely qualify because they are such high credit score borrowers so sofi is less limited in that regard in terms of the products that it can offer these customers and so its financial services more broadly they note here net revenue more than tripled year over year to 98 million. That's excellent growth, tripling year over year. Uh, right now, it's still not a very large part of its business, but at growth rates like this, it won't take long before it does become a large part of its business. And management thinks this is going to continue. So this revenue growth is driven by three vectors. I won't go over all three of them. Uh, in detail, but it's growth across its SoFi money, investments, and credit card. And so management expects all three of those trends to continue the growth momentum. So they don't see this slowing down whatsoever, at least for the rest of this year. And despite all the investment that it took for SoFi to expand this segment to grow that segment they're seeing significantly improved profitability in the financial services segment the second quarter contribution loss was just 4.3 million which was a 20 million improvement over the 24 million dollar loss in the previous quarter so they're making excellent growth in terms of profitability as well and this is really why I note that this is great news for SoFi stock investors. Now, if you've been following my channel, you know I'm not a fan of companies spending aggressively just to grow revenue and grow customers. I don't like to see that so much. But what I do like to see is companies growing revenue and customers and that growth on the top line leading to progress on the bottom line, leading to at least narrowing losses so if you're a company that's not profitable just yet like SoFi I want to see you making progress towards profitability if you are growing revenue quickly and SoFi is doing that very well not just doing that slowly but growing its bottom line very quickly in addition to growing its revenue so that's why I say that this is great news for SoFi stock investors so the improvement in variable profit per account is a result of higher monetization rates and lower customer acquisition costs due to marketing efficiency and cross buying. So I don't know how durable this might be, but the trends suggest that as a company grows, its marketing efficiency tends to improve for things like, you know, if you're doing advertising, if you're doing a marketing campaign, instead of doing localized or state by state, you can do national campaigns, international campaigns, all of which drives lower costs per customer acquisition. Because when you go national compared to state by state, you get better advertising rates from your advertising partners. So for those types of reasons, there is, and I have seen plenty of evidence to suggest decreasing marketing costs as scale improves and so that's what I'm seeing from SoFi and so if it is like other companies and it can capitalize on this effect then it should be durable but that remains to be seen it needs to actually execute on this regard right but I've seen it done by other companies I've seen it 
I've seen it happen and so this is certainly a viable option a viable path for SoFi to increase and enhance the profitability of this segment here and so this is all you know primarily fueled by the attractive annual percentage yield on savings deposits that they raised again it used to be 4.3 percent they raised it to 4.4 percent in my opinion i think this is underlying a lot of sofi's growth because it's attracting a lot of customers that difference the delta between what sofi offers you for your savings deposit compared to bank of america or chase or others is attractive to folks and it's enough to get people to spend the time to switch banks because that's the biggest hassle is the time and energy and all the forms and paperwork you have to sign when you switch banks right because it's a lot you've got your monthly direct deposit you've or week or paycheck where however often you receive your paycheck and all your bill pay and everything you have connected with your bank account it's a lot to switch it over to a new bank right it's a lot of time and hassle but if you're going to go from zero percent to 4.4 percent on your money on your savings then that's enough to entice you to switch over that's enough to entice you to switch over and SoFi is showing evidence of that that it is enough to entice folks to switch over and come to SoFi and it's all working in SoFi's favor and the cost the 4.4 percent that SoFi is paying on these deposits it's more than making up for it in its other parts of its business whether it's cross-selling these financial services which are growing rapidly or whether it's the lending side of the business which I'm not going to get into in this video which is also thriving so overall great news for SoFi stock investors that they are cross-selling and getting these customers that are coming on attracted by that 4.4 percent APY they're able to sell them these other services and that's boosting really boosting some of its lesser known parts of its business but that's all I've got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.